Hello friends! Today we're going to enjoy The Fierce Little Woman and the Wicked Pirate. As you can see, this book is very well loved. It's uh, one of my favorites. And it is also special to me because it was a gift from one of our preschool students who was visiting us when their family was on sabbatical from work in New Zealand. So, really enjoyable story by Joe Cowley and illustrated by Sarah Davis. And the author is a New Zealand author who lives in the same town as the family who gave us this book. So, really exciting. Beautiful art in this book, too. The Fierce Little Woman and the Wicked Pirate. The Fierce Little Woman lived in a house at the end of a jetty. She knitted socks in blue and green wool to sell to sailors who had got their feet wet. But when there were no ships at her jetty, she was quite alone. Sometimes the little woman walked up and down the jetty, playing her bagpipes to the seagulls. Inside her house, there was a trap door which opened to the sea below. In the summer, the fierce little woman climbed down through the trap door to swim under the jetty. In winter, she sat in her armchair beside the fire with a fishing line down the hole. At night, she lay in bed and listened to the sea breathing in and out under her door. One day, a pirate came to the house on the jetty. He stood on his toes and started tap, tap, tapping on the window. The little woman was sitting in her armchair, knitting fiercely. It's only the wind, she said. The pirate went on, tap, tap, tapping at the glass. The woman put her head on one side and she listened. That's not the wind, she said. She looked at the window and called, who's there? A voice answered, I'm a wicked pirate. Let me in. No, she said, I'm a fierce little woman and you can't come in. Go away if you know what's good for you. I'll break the window, said the pirate. You do and I'll whack you with my knitting needles, said the fierce little woman. The pirate didn't answer. A whole hour went by. Then there came a knock, knock knocking at the door. A voice cried, let me in. I told you to go away, called the fierce little woman. Open your door or I'll push it down, said the wicked pirate. Just you try it, said the woman, and I'll hit you on the head with my bagpipes. The pirate stopped knocking and two hours passed. The little woman listened. She could hear a faint scratch, scratch, scratching under the floor. Let me in, said the voice. Never, she said. Raise the trap door, said the pirate. If you don't, I'll force it open. And you know what I'll do, said the fierce little woman. I'll tie you up with my fishing line and throw you into the sea. You wouldn't, said the wicked pirate. Oh, yes, I would, said the fierce little woman. 
the pirate was quiet for a moment. Please let me in, he said. My ship has gone without me and I've got no home. I'm hungry. I've got wet feet. Worst of all, it's getting dark. No, she shouted. Oh, please, I beg you, he said. I'm very scared of the dark. The little woman put down her knitting. Very slowly, she opened the trap door and the pirate came through, dripping seawater on the carpet. She made him put his wet boots in front of the fire. Then she gave him a new pair of blue and green socks. I didn't know a wicked pirate could be scared of the dark, she said. The pirate wriggled his toes in the warm socks. I didn't know a fierce little woman could knit so fine, he said, or live in such a cozy house. Tell me, my fierce little woman, would you consider being my wife? Don't talk such nonsense, said the fierce little woman. But for the first time in her life, she smiled. And so the pirate and the little woman were married. They live in the house on the jetty and now have three children who are never fierce and only sometimes wicked. In summer, they all climb through the trap door to swim in the sea. In winter, they sit by the fire with fishing lines down the hole. Big fish. At night, they listen to the sea breathing in and out under the floor. And once in a while, the little woman plays them a lullaby on her bagpipes so they won't be scared of the dark. The end. Thanks for sharing the fierce little woman and the wicked pirate with me. Hope you have a great day. Bye.